Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And it is time for the four month review of my armored lazy rolling gear, both the black on black performance hoodie and my slim cargo pants. So let me tell you more about it. Broadway. All right, first of all, also big thanks to Lazy Rolling for sending me over this stuff for review. I got both the pants and the jacket for free. They sent it over to me and naturally, like in the first video, all of the links are in the description. And as my first impressions of this gear were very nice, after four months of use, a couple of things have popped up that I wanted to mention you guys if you are in the market for gear to ride on e-skate, e-scooter, EUC and all things electric. So let's start with the hoodie and I have everything here written down so I, I don't forget. So first of all, probably you notice it already, my both sleeves are ripped. All of these clothes are very tight and there was just a hole here for your thumb. So sometimes you can just do this to you know ride around uh, however this is not like the strongest stitching or i don't know material so i was constantly you know putting it on and as it is tied there was a lot of pressure and you know both of these things just ripped i'm not really a fan of those because i ride anyways in uh, wrist guards but yeah just a weak point that sadly looks Kind of bad. Next thing is that if you want to buy something from Lazy Rolling, the fits are very tight. So I have a L jacket and you know all of the sleeves are very tight, which is good, you know, for the protection, which is great here and here as well. But if you are usually, I don't know, getting M jackets, maybe it's worth to consider one size bigger than usual. Overall, the hoodie is I don't know why it's even called hoodie because it has a zipper. But all, all in all, it's very comfy to ride. Like uh, the protection, especially when like it gets warm from your body, gets uh, very elastic and nice. However, I would say that the optimum temperature for it is like between 15 and 20 degrees. So I have a buzzer and I can comfortably just like walk around in my room without getting sweaty. And if I have the zipper up here on the laser rolling jacket, I get very, very warm. Naturally, this is also because there's like a layer of Kevlar inside. But if you want something cooler than a mesh jacket or a like anti-abrasive buzzer, which I can show you later, is I guess a better choice for very warm conditions in the summer. So I would say 15 to 20 degrees Celsius is like the optimum like around for here. I can't really put much underneath the hoodie itself because it's just so tight. So this also eliminates a bit the colder riding conditions in this jacket and or hoodie. Next thing I wanted to talk about is the CE level two protection I have here. As said, it's very comfy. However, it's not breathable at all. And, and the protectors themselves have no ventilation. There is, um, there's just a beam of warmth coming from the, uh, both the elbows and the shoulders and especially the back. I was riding quite a bit without the back protector installed and just with a protective backpack so I don't get as warm. Again, if you want to have a more breathable um, experience, you're better off with buying different sort of sea level two protection, which is ventilated, like ventilated protectors. So yeah, just a, a thing to keep in mind, the level two protection is very beefy and kind of warm. The top layer here, um, you know, the reflective uh, layer that I will talk about later as well, is waterproof, but the rest isn't. So if you're going in rain, then it's kind of cool to have like the top still dry and your shoulders, especially, you know, the, your back is always dry because you just ride forwards and back is most of the time uh, dry. But you know, these, this part here underneath is not waterproof. So that's just something to keep in mind. When it comes to things that have broken on this jacket, it's just this thing or no, the other one here, just the end of the zipper. The zipper still works fine. Yeah, it just fell off. Other than that, I have no problems pretty much with the jacket. Next thing I wanted to mention is that this is mostly designed just for speeds like up to 50 kilometers an hour. So if you're riding up to this speed, you're pretty well protected in a lazy rolling hoodie. However, there is no front chest protection. So now I'm riding with front pro chest protection because I had a cutoff on my Monster Pro 
and yeah you, you just want to have it especially for your ribs i also talked with lazy rolling about this front chest protection and maybe they'll include that in future versions which would be pretty cool but yeah again up to 50 kilometers an hour you're good also with the kevlar layer inside but if you're going faster this thing will just probably rip apart so if you're going faster speeds you're better off with a motorcycle jacket which has really anti-abrasive material all over that i'll also show you later in the video last but not least it just looks cool so there's no denial that all of these things look cool they don't make you look bulky they don't make you look i don't know funny or something they're pretty well trimmed and tight which makes them maybe not the most comfortable but this makes them and uh, the protectors stay in the right place oh and one thing i forgot is this um reflective layer it's not really that much of a reflective layer it's just reflective if you just make a photo with a flash in the night or if you have the source of the light right next to your eye so most of the time even if i have a helmet light on and you can see it here in the pictures it doesn't like this is not reflective i really wanted a reflective jacket but it doesn't do the job at all so here you can compare it to my motorcycle jacket you can see these reflectors very well in the night whilst the laser rolling jacket just stays black all the time so if you want to have higher visibility i highly suggest getting the other one which has the silver top because this is actually reflective this is like sort of semi-reflective I, I would definitely change the name to like semi-reflective of something because reflective is a bit misleading i think in this case so what i would like to see in the future in this jacket improved definitely i don't need these and if they are here just make them more robust uh, i would like to have some options for ventilated protection so it's not that warm i would also like to see improved reflectivity of this top material or change of it and it will be very nice to see that added chest protection so with that said let me just take off this jacket I'm sweating and, and let's talk about the pants. One more thing to remember is that all of these clothes are strictly pretty much for men. They're not really unisex. So if you are a girl, sadly, there is nothing that would fit you well in the lazy growing department. I mean, if you are shaped like a girl <laughs> at all. So it would be nice if in the future there would be more also women tailored uh, protective clo clothing uh, by the lazy rolling because I think there is a huge lack of proper good women's clothing with protection on the market and I would really like to see a video by Monocat about this subject. Subscribe to Monocat. Anyways let's get back to the lazy rolling pants and even though I was using them a lot and I was very happy with them they are uh, they are falling apart a bit. So number one I have a wallet which is like I'm made out of metal and I have a hole now in the pants because of my wallet. It's a first for me with, with my pants and using my wallet that just a, just a pocket broke and ripped apart. So that's a bummer. And the next thing in a similar vicinity is here. Here I have another hole which ripped apart. I think that's just the material on the pants. But this thing ripped apart essentially when I was pulling up my pants. So this wasn't like in a fall or anything. This was just actually by pulling up my pants because again, they're very, very tight. I have size 32, 32 here and they're, you know, even though my butt looks good, uh, they're just too tight. So I need like a 34 by 32, which I will maybe get later this year. The biggest issue probably is here because where my calves are, let me just put my hand here so you see it. I have holes everywhere and they're big and they're annoying. Like. This is this is really annoying like this made these pants actually quite unrideable for me because you know you have a lot of friction in your calves because you ride EUC and yeah this just breaks maybe it's because of the small size maybe it's because of my uh, riding style but on the other hand I have loads of other pants and this never happened to me I had a cutoff in like jeans I bought in a random shopping mall at 80 kilometers an hour and they didn't look as bad as as these so yeah I, I i i think they definitely need to, to improve on the i don't know material just improve the quality here because this just rips apart so easily and on the lower part there is no kevlar so maybe this is also the reason why 
this is just so weak. So the stitching definitely can could be improved and all in all like the firmness and strength of this material I think is not enough. So this is like the issue I didn't like the most about these pants. The pants do also have Kevlar inside and I have to say that the protection was really good. I had a couple of falls in these pants also like off-road, on-road and always the knee protectors and hip protectors were just in a perfect spot for me. Now you have to also carefully select those pants so they are in your size and you know the protectors don't move around but typically again these things are very tight so the the protectors will stay in place and funnily enough where I fell here on the front there is no problems with the stitching because I think this is reinforced or as I said there's Kevlar here in the front to protect you from scratches and you know falling on asphalt but on the lower part here there is nothing at all there's just this material so if you fall and you just fall with your calves and shred the street then this will be not enough I think that the layer of Kevlar should be down to the bottom of the pants to give you like the full actual protection and similarly to the uh, jacket I think this is just up to like 50 kilometers an hour and yeah not not really faster if you want to go faster again you have to have something that is just a bit more resistive for uh, abrasion as said the protectors on the knees and especially on the hips are very nice you know guys hip protection is so important. You can get these pants or motorcycle pants with this hip protection installed because every time you fall, this is pretty much as important as the knee protection. So you can also just wear this without the knee pads and get some different knee pads that you put over the pants like the Liats or something else. But this is really cu crucial and I'm really glad that Lazy Rolling has that in those pants. All right, so I guess this was all I uh, wanted to say uh, about those pants, but I still have some ideas for future improvements on those pants, so let me also mention those. First of all, I would want to say see this area reinforced, so especially for electric unicycle riding, you need this to be reinforced, either with Kevlar or additional layers of material to keep that from happening. I would like to have improved stitching or, or material so my uh, pocket don't, my pocket doesn't break or like the upper layer here. I would also like to see similarly to the hoodie um, also ventilated uh, protectors which would be really nice and maybe last but not least something reflective included in the pants because if you look at our motorcycle pants there's usually just some sort of small logo or something shiny on the back that makes you just a bit more visible it would be nice to see in the pants too all right so now let me show you the differences to other gear that i have and i'm currently using first of all i recently bought this alpine stars uh, buzzer or armor as, as you can see um, it has a chest protector which is very important and also protects your ribs um, it has ventilation here which is amazing it felt it fits really well and every single protection element has holes in the back sort of well ventilated this is also very well ventilated might be not as scratch resistant as uh, you know a layer of Kevlar but uh, you can also put that underneath a motorcycle jacket and probably or even the laser rolling and this would be a pretty cool option here on the side there's a anti-abrasive material which is really nice and yeah this thing just fits really well gives you more room for movement and is definitely way colder in the summer so if you put a like a jersey on top of that or instead a motorcycle jacket you can also use that for higher speeds. I have my Mod Modica jacket, here we have several ventilation and this material like this is really scratch proof like if you slide on asphalt and in this thing you're just you're just very safe and yeah also a back pocket but this is like a touring motorcycle jacket really like this thing uh, it's also much more loose so I can fit the hoodie or the warm layer underneath that so yeah this is really cool but also more expensive. Now next thing I have here is the mesh jacket I have so if you're just like jackets you don't want to have a buzzer this is an amazing option as you can see here <laughs> it's fully like breathable costs less than a laser rolling I just bought it in Bulgaria its name is I think Sparta or something Spartan 
don't really know this brand, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It has level one protection. You can buy probably better protection as well, but this mesh is number one, very abrasion resistant, especially here also the other parts. You can feel that really compared to the lazy rolling. It's also just very breathable and nice to ride in. Uh, I couldn't really ride in the lazy rolling in uh, over like 25, 30 degree weather because I was just like melting if I wasn't riding. And if I was riding, it was also like on the edge. So some sort of mesh jacket would be also really nice, but just be careful that they're long enough and they're comfortable to ride on on your electric unicycle. And last but not least, I wanted to show you some uh, motorcycle pants um, and as you can see they have reinforcements on special areas like here on the motorcycle you have reinforcements here because that's you know when the motor is and stuff so something like that with stronger material also here on your knees would be nice to see on some laser rolling gear but maybe then it would be also to not too breathable but on the side, just at least the calves with such an additional strong material would be great to see. So I guess this is my review. Whew. This is my review of the lazy, lazy rolling gear after four months of use. Overall, I don't know if I'll be using the protection installed in the lazy rolling holdy much more anymore because now I have the buzzer and I really like that chest protection. Uh, so maybe I'll just use it as a jacket. In terms of the pants, I can't use them anymore because they're just so torn apart and I'm waiting actually for, for new ones. So yeah, that is just a bummer. And I hope that the future pants of Lazy Rolling will improve in this durability. So I guess if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.